Hello everybody, I'm Up in Flames, and welcome back to another episode of Super Flat, where I have been notified that if we just go over here, even though it's through the slimes, we will come to another village. So we're just gonna hope that these slimes don't like attack us or anything. And there it is, another village. Now last time I was here, which was off camera, I placed a door here just so that I would know where I was supposed to go to get back home. Look at that iron golem defending the village from the slimes. And look at these baby villagers. My village doesn't have any of those. Yeah, die slime. Okay, I'm gonna get away from them now and get safely in this house where there is a chest full of potatoes. Ooh, lots of slime balls. Thanks to the iron golem. I'm not gonna kill this iron golem. He's protecting us from the slimes. Does this house have a chest? Oh, <gasps> there's horses. Maybe I could tame one. I have apples. I want this one. He didn't like them. Oh, well, I'm gonna get this hay because you can never have too much hay. And also a villager back home buys hay for emerald. Uh-oh, it's almost dark. I need to find a bed. Thank you. I have woken up, and it is time to get more hay. Oh, chest. I already looted that one. Ah! Get away from me, slime. Get away from me. I think I've looted all this chest all this village has to have. So I'm gonna steal their hay, and then I'm gonna leave. My sword is running very low. I think I'm gonna need to get home before I use it anymore. Think of all the bread I will be able to have after I get all these hay bales. There's so many. <gasps> Cows! This is wor this is a worthy cause for the sword. The sword is broken. And that cow didn't drop anything. But I got seven raw beef and six leather. Leather helmet. Because one can never have too little armor. It's perfect. And I made this extra crafting table. I don't think I can stay here in this village. It's too slimy. Here's our door. Let's go back. There's our house. Into our house. Let's slap all our stuff in the chest. Now, this house has one flaw. No roof. So we're gonna need to make that roof, which is our next goal for today. First things first. This golem isn't protecting us from anything. He can die. Free iron. Nice. Remember that iron pickaxe I made? I'm going to use it for mining cobblestone. Maybe it'll be a bit faster than a stone pickaxe. And hopefully it doesn't burn in the lava as much. I'm not exactly sure how much cobblestone we will need. But this definitely isn't enough. I don't want a fancy roof because this will not be my house forever. Ow. This is just a small starter house to get me started. You know what I mean? So I'm not that concerned with the roof looking too nice. I just want it to be functional. You know, keep out the phantoms if they ever spawn. This is all the roof we're gonna get done for today. But I'm fine with that. And we'll do it little by little, and eventually the roof will be finished. It's almost bedtime though. Time to go to sleep. Oh, come on. There we go. You know what? I've decided that for the roof, I don't need cobblestone stairs. I'll just use cobblestone. It's a lot cheaper, considering I don't have a stone cutter yet. Unfortunately, that means I've wasted 18 cobblestone. But it's fine. <laughs> I'm really debating whether or not I should just take the cobblestone from the villagers' houses. I have a full stack of cobblestone, and now I don't need a lot of cobblestone, actually. I'll grab 24, see what that does. I'm gonna place a chimney there. Oh goodness, I've made a mob spawner. I'm gonna make it not a mob spawner by just releasing one of those holes. 
just gonna put that in there and that the, oh nope i don't want to use those for torches then we can create a little a little bit of torches one right there one right there one right there one right there now it's not a mob spawner and i can place this cobblestone right there Ta-da! The house is almost finished. I just want to add one thing. A chimney up there. You see that up there? I want to make a campfire to make it look like a chimney. All I need is four oak logs. It makes charcoal. And we make a campfire. It would be better if we had spruce logs to make spruce trap doors. But we don't because the wandering trader has not showed up for us yet. We just have to place these trap doors here and place a campfire. Perfect! It's so cool! I love this house. I think in the meantime I'm gonna do something that I forgot to do. The chimney looks so cool. Remember all the hay bales? It gets us a lot of wheat. Like a lot of wheat. And so, the farmer villager who lives somewhere. Yes! Trade up. He did. Six iron. All I have to do is wait for another golem to spawn. And I'll make an iron chest plate. That'll fill up my armor slots, and then I'll save enough iron to make an iron helmet and iron leggings. They already spawned an, uh, another iron golem. That's weird. I broke a lot of my tools trying to spawn that iron golem, and now it is nighttime, and I am not in bed. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. Let's hope no mobs spawned. Oh, look at that. Burning mobs. Please don't terrorize the villagers. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that of you. Die! Poor villagers! And I'm out of food! And there's a creeper. Oh goodness, that was the worst mistake of my life, killing that iron golem. An enderman? Where'd he go? Oh! Nope, 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 nope. Oh goodness. All I wanted to do was kill an iron golem. Why did this have to happen? Oh well. At least I got an iron chest plate out of it. Can you die? This stuff. With a crafting table. You can. And even with the creepers and endermen and spiders outside, I still have somewhat of a fashion sense. Oh, I almost forgot. I can't sprint because I've run out of food. So I should probably make some bread with this extra wheat I have. 17 bread. Plus is 21 that I already had. And I have some rotten flesh. I don't know if that will come in handy, but it might. Oh, and look at that. Even more bread. Bread, yes. Bread is one of my favorite foods in Minecraft. It just feels so good. <laughs> And the last thing I wanted to do was explore a bit, because some time ago I saw a mine shaft, and I marked its coordinates. But first, I have to prepare. I'm going to make a quick iron sword so that I can kill any slimes that come in my way. And off I venture. It was this way. All I have to do is just make my way through past the slimes, and there it is. It's a tiny mine shaft. But a mine shaft nonetheless. And there's a chest. And it has a name tag. Which isn't useful until I find an anvil. But whatever. Now, now I just have to make my way back to the village. You can see my chimney. Get in my house. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Flat World. Please leave a like. And if you really liked it. Consider subscribing. As it helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!